Hello, brothers and sisters. Vegan Crypto here. So, this is not a crypto video, but this is about something that's going on in right now. So, bird flu. Maybe you've heard about it. Back in the day, uh, many, many years ago, I, before I became a vegan, I um, worked for a company where we rented uh, equipment, and one of the some of the equipment was heaters. So, there was a case of uh, the bird flu in Iowa and I sent big heaters to kill about 175,000 birds. What these birds are about 20, 30,000 of them in a shed and they needed to get rid of them. So they turn off the ventilation, turn off the fans and put in this heat and it slowly kills them. What's going on in Texas right now? So we, this is H5N1, which I've been scared of for a while. Uh, now, this is a, not a panic thing. I'm just letting you know. Bird flu reported at Cal Maine Foods, largest egg producer in the U.S. They're in the Texas Panhandle. Nearly 12, uh, 2 million chickens were culled. That's a nice way of saying mass killing. When they have to do this with lamb, cows, or anything, they call it culled. Uh, at, uh, the plant, which is the largest producer of eggs in the nation, uh, reports confirming a uh, case of highly patho genic avian flu in the chickens. The killing of the chickens comes after the reports of the first known case of bird flu in cattle about two weeks ago and the first human infection in Texas of this strain of bird flu. So let me tell you, when it starts jumping species to species, that's not good. And then it jumps another species to humans. Once it jumps from human to human, it becomes airborne. That's not fun. Now, I'm not saying this is going to be a pandemic, but it will be the next one. Um, you know, H5N1 is no joke. Look it up. Kills about, estimated to kill about one. If it does, there's been cases of before in humans. It's just not human to human. They estimate that it would uh, kill about 40% of the humans on Earth. Who knows if that's true or not, but it's not a good thing. Um, uh, consequently, uh, they were obligated to kill 1.6 million laying hens and 337 pullets, which makes up about 3.6% of the total flock. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, they temporarily halted production. Um, this is, I'm sure they'll get money from the government for the subsidies. Um, devastating news for them. Yeah, given this latest development, I'm sure they're really sad uh, about their profits. Uh, bird flu, avian outbreak. It was first identified in Europe in uh, 2020, although the strain has existed for several decades. First identified in uh, China in uh, 1996. Uh, you should see what China does. What they did a couple years ago with the pigs when they had some type of swine virus. They put all the live pigs and their babies in a pit. There's video of it. And burnt them alive. So, concerning uh, the... the um, let's see, the current virus has caused the deaths of more than 82 million animals globally, um, making it the poultry industry's most significant blow since the previous major outbreak resulting in deaths of 50 million birds in in 2014 and 2015. Um, and you guys are eating these things and they're eggs, which eggs are nothing more than a period <laughs> that hasn't been fertilized or, you know, that's all it is. It's goo. Um, Bird, f the flu has affected 82 uh, million poultry and 10,000 wild birds. We need our birds. If you ever look in the air, see how many birds there are. When I was a kid, there were birds all the time. Barely any of them. Now, barely see them. Um, let's see. Poultry farmer. Da -da. Uh, wild birds might have infected Texas cows. And that's the thing, right? If they have the bird flu and then they tend to hang out around cows and and you're drinking their breast milk, uh, think about what milk is. It's a lactation from another species that's 1,500 pounds. Just give it a little thought. And most dairy cows and the herds have uh, bovine leukemia. That is a 100% fact. Go ahead and look it up. Also look up um, what milk in milk is fecal matter and somatic stem cells, which is pus. You can look it up. Somatic stem cells. And fecal matter. That's your shit. You can look it up. Uh, it's you're allowed to have a certain amount of both per and blood per uh, glass of milk. Look it up. I'm not lying. Um, so, will birds will it hurt the egg supply? Wah, wah, wah. Like I said, I told you what eggs are like. You also have to remember that everything that you eat 
pigs, cows, sheep, uh, and birds, they've all, they're not natural. People say it's a natural diet to eat meat. What's, uh, you know, what are natural animals are buffalo, um, giraffes, lions, deer, right? I'm not telling you to eat those, but 30%, we only have about 30% of wild animals left on earth. Um, but the animals you eat and where are, they've been crossbred for not, not where, those are foxes and, you know, other animals. Um, they've been crossbred for years and years. Chickens actually thousands, thousands of years ago come from jungle fowl. Uh, cows come from like oxes and, you know, 10,000 years ago when we started domesticating animals to make them docile and so they're easy to slaughter. Um, so you have to think of that. Uh, they're not natural. And so they keep 20, 30,000 of these animals in concrete in these sheds and they, one gets a disease, you know, it breeds disease. They're in their own crap. They're in their own piss. I've been in these places. I've been in all, a ton of egg hatcheries. I've been in a ton of egg farms and, and poultry farms and pig farms and cow. They're inside. Uh, you know, you don't see these places. You, see, you think you see these wandering, you know, beautiful cows out and about. You never see chickens, do you? You never see pigs. Well, they do that with cows now, too. They're indoors. Not all of them. The majority of them. They're factory. They're on levels, and they're, they, they're in their own crap. Uh, and all that crap goes into your food. So um, they've also been selectively bred to lay. They used to lay one egg a month. Now they lay 30 eggs a month, and that takes a taxing toll on these uh, egg-laying hens. And what happens is you have hens in a barn, like thousands of them. Then you have a couple of hundred uh, or like 100 or 50 roosters, they come in and they just constantly have sex with them over and over again. And then they have, they lay their eggs and the eggs are taken to a hatchery. And if you're a male hen, if you're a female hen, you go and you follow your mom and you start to have lay eggs. If you're a male hen, well, this is what you get. And this is a graphic. But it's the truth. This is Australia. But it happens Mainly everywhere. Don't grow large enough to be sold for meat and farms consider them financially worthless. So the egg industry does the only thing that makes economic sense to them. They kill these baby chickens, more than 12 million of them a year, usually on their first day of life. The egg industry uses two main methods to kill chicks. The first is gassing chambers, which render chicks unconscious using carbon dioxide. The other method of killing which the industry considers most efficient, is called maceration. Along with gassing, maceration is used across all egg production systems, caged, barn laid, free range, and organic. It's also what the industry does to millions of meat chicks that they consider unviable. Every day in hatcheries across Australia, Thousands of male chicks are sorted from the females. They are then poured from crates onto conveyor belts. Shunted along, they bounce off the belt rails and each other. Finally, they drop off the edge of the belt and their bodies are torn apart by a metal grinder. All of this is legal and commonplace. When the egg industry looks at these chicks, it doesn't see living, thinking, feeling beings. It just sees an inconvenience to be dealt with. At the end of the So, this is profit driven, and that's enough of that. New method is uh, actually here in Illinois, so they either do what I told you for not the egg uh, hatcheries, but the uh, egg laying hens or these mass callings. Now what they do is they have this uh, firefighting foam where they just, this is just, you see the barn here? Just suffocating all the chickens, suffocating them all. There's other methods, right? Like I've mentioned. And, uh, you know, we're talking billions of male chicks a year, billions, six billion, I believe and uh, our eggs, CO2, birds sometimes they freeze them to death, they drown them, it's, it's just, it's 
discussing. So you need to be careful. It's a endless battle, but I wanted to at least share this with you. Um, I don't do a ton of videos like this, but uh, this is a warning. Do me a favor. If you guys want to know more, feel free to ask me a question. I'm not here to debate it with you, but uh, watch Dominion or Gary Roski's speech that, you know, both the links I have. I wish you all well. And this is concerning. It's just, uh, but you don't hear usually about these. There's always a ton of these zoonotic diseases going around with the fox and all, you know, these are all force bred animals. Everyone there is male, you know, the cows are force bred. These are not natural things to pigs and it's not done by having sex. They, you know, they masturbate the males, they take the semen and they inject it in the females. That's how it's done these days and for some time. So anyways, uh, something worth looking into. Be good.